In this series, we took the highest grossing film every year since 1980, we put them in brackets and debated which film was the best to determine once and for all which decade had the best movies. When we first started this, wow. I asked you a question. And yes, there's a lot of white, and unfortunately on the PlayStation, the white jumps out. But sure if you recall that, I'm like, are we... This is, the, this is the bracket that gave me this question. Is it the best movie, or is it our favorite movie? You know, because that's oh. what that's where I was going at with this. Because there is, oh. so let me tell you something. I so it was tough to figure out what I picked for number one. You know, because Forrest mm -hmm. Gump, I love Tom Hanks. This is a brilliant movie, top to bottom. Um, mm -hmm. Shrek Two, I can I enjoy so fucking much. It's so great. But at the end of the day, this podcast is about the best film. And I did mm -hmm. put Forrest Gump number one. I, yeah. I had to, we, but I will say this: it was tough because I was deciding. Because again, kind of like Return of the King, if you watch Forrest Gump, you kind of have to be in the mood, you know, like it's the period piece and stuff like that. I, you know, That's I might so be great. like, yeah, I'll turn it. Shrek two, if that pops on, I, I think this is my most watched thing at Blockbuster. The music, everything was great, but we'll get, I'll get into that in a second. But Forrest Shrek Gump, two. <laughs> God, yeah, it, it did. It took the first one and did everything better. Um, yeah. But yeah, so no, I, I, I did debate this because I'm like, Shrek 2 is my favorite movie out of these. I, I know it's weird to say that, but like you, animated movies can be great. But I, I couldn't, I, I'm like, Forrest Gump is a better movie. It, it is, you know, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. um, it is. Obviously, we got the memes. We got, you know, Life is Like a Box of Chocolates, Tom Hanks, you know, the shit happens. But yeah, overall... To me, mm. yeah, easily number one. And I am assuming, based mm. on your nodding, you agree that that's your number one? Not 100%. Not 100%. Uh oh. Out of curiosity, no, no, what was no. your number? 100%. 100%. 100%. Uh oh. <laughs> thanks. Not uh, 100%. I'm like, oh shit. No, Forrest Gump to me is a perfect movie. It, it, Forrest Gump and my number two movie on this list have the same have the same script style and also one of my favorite script styles or storytelling kind of tropes because it's the same one that you see in Back to the Future uh, with Marty McFly where in Forrest Gump okay and both Beverly Hills Cop the main characters don't learn anything that changes their character the world changes around that character which means that the director is telling you that that is how you should be like when you're an audience member watching Forrest Gump or Beverly Hills Cop or even Back to the Future, which is now on this list, that that is like the main character is not going through a story arc. They're going through a situation, but they, because of like just the way they are, they change their environment around them. And Forrest Gump, great example that also directed by Robert Zemeckis as well, who directed Back to the Future. And Forrest Gump is just, you're right, it is a little bit long, so you do have to kind of be in the mood for it. And it's definitely very emotional. It's a drama, but it is a phenomenal movie phenomenal performance great script it is to me the best movie out of all four of these with number two uh being beverly hills cop so the, those two are my top two on this uh, bracket and i did enjoy beverly hills cop um but like i said i think for my number two i kind of alluded to it was definitely shrek two because sh the first shrek was a great film it was a great different telling of <laughs> a, you know, a Disney film. film but no but it was you know <laughs> you have all the we talked about Disney and how they just dominated yes. the 90s but Shrek was something different than your typical Disney movie you know again mm -hmm. had the music Mike Myers um, Andy Murphy great but Shrek 2 took everything that worked in the first one did it again at a higher level um it, it didn't downgrade at all so to me it it is the perfect sequel, and again, I enjoy the music. I enjoy the the story. You know, he's you know again. I'm talking about a cartoon here. You know, he's meeting the parents. You know, will they accept you know her as an ogre now? Um, they figure it all. But yeah, I, I'm sorry. Shrek two is definitely my number two. <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop is number three. <laughs> no, if, 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 Shrek two is one of my favorite animated movies. That and Mulan are like my some of my top two. But so it was tough. And I like I said, I honestly had Shrek two at number one. And then that's what I'm like. But Forrest Gump is a better movie. And I had to remember the reason we're doing this podcast is to find the best decade. And that's why I had to go mm -hmm. Forrest Gump. But Shrek two, um, like I said, compared to what the first one is now, Beverly Hills Cop three. Three is my third pick. Um, mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy is just great. Again, it awesome. signifies Take the Eddie 80s. It was, you know, great comedy. I enjoy it. I can still watch it to this day. Um, yep. 
And sad to say, I I hate to say this to fans of American Sniper, this is the one film I didn't see. I kind of I know the story. Um, even if I saw this movie, though, I don't feel like American Sniper could beat any of these other three films. No, you know, and you know, without seeing it, because again, knowing what's going on, it, it's probably a powerful story, and people are more into that, and I get it. <sighs> But how yeah, much sure. I enjoy the other three, I'm sorry, I, I could not put American Sniper. But I, I hate to put a movie last without seeing it. But to me, compared to the other three, there's no doubt. So I think yeah, Shrek no, Two I was agree. was that your third? Yeah, Shrek Two is third because I mean I'm, I've seen Shrek a couple of times. Shrek Two, uh, and it never had really any impact on me. I do love Mike Myers, but you know I'm watching So I Married an Axe Murderer like a million times over Shrek Two. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. And that's nothing that I'm saying it's bad. It's just not my thing. And American Sniper just, uh, I'm sure it's a great story. I'm sure it's a great true story. But like you said, th- these are movies we're talking about. Like, we're not, yeah, Some of them have great stories, but like, which one's the best movie in American Sniper to me? I haven't seen it either. Guess what, everybody? I didn't see Deathly Hollows either or uh, the whatever it is. So I don't care. And I picked that number three. So American Sniper <laughs> is last. <laughs> Coincidentally, Forrest Gump and Shrek 2 tied for first. You know, I, and then uh, Beverly Hills Cop was, <laughs> you know, it's not, I know we get like 20-ish votes on a lot of these, so it's, like, you know, I can understand it being close. But, yeah, American Sniper, I think, had the one sad vote, pity vote. But, yes, Beverly Hills Cop, you know, good third. But, yeah, Forrest Gump and Shrek 2 tied for first place based on, you know, the yeah, fans yeah, that have watched that's, it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm not really, like, passionate about this one, but I do really like Forrest Gump a lot.